Hello everyone, you're watching the Brentwood Beat. I'm Juliette Lamar and this week police have warn residents of an active extortion scheme. So watch out and LA street food vendors are getting their own COVID-19 relief funds. So stay tuned. But first I want to tell you all about our sponsor, DBR Roofing. They handle any and all roofing work for your residential or commercial properties. Our top story today is more of a celebration. The last Wednesday in September each year marks National Women's Health and Fitness Day. In today's video, we have a few COVID safe outdoor fitness activities to get your body moving. We'll be right back with the news after this story. Yes, that was me out there on my rollerblades and doing handstands in the park. And now that it's so hot, I might just jump in the water and start surfing. Getting outside even just a little bit during this time can change your whole day. Let us know how you celebrate National Women's Health and Fitness Day by sharing your videos and photos at our Instagram and Facebook accounts and by using the hashtag Women's Health Fitness Day. Now for what is happening in your neighborhood. Police are warning the public, Westside residents, of an active extortion scheme that's happening right now. According to UCLA police, beginning on September 17th, multiple UCLA affiliates have reported being contacted by someone claiming to be from the campus police department. The caller then claims to the victim that they have an arrest warrant out for them or that someone is using their identity to commit drug crimes. The caller then may claim that the victim must pay a fine or they will be arrested. The caller will likely demand your payment through various types of money transfer apps such as Zelle or PayPal. According to UCLA PD, the incoming calls have been made through a spoofing technique to make the scammer's call appear like it's coming directly from UCLA Police Department. The phone number is stated right there on your phone and it's a scam. Don't fall for it. These calls are not from the UCLA PD and the department urges the public to be vigilant of such scamming schemes and to report any suspicious activity right back to them. A little market news for you today concerning street food vendors. Los Angeles City Council has voted to help LA street food vendors with $6 million in relief funding. It's called the COVID-19 Street Vending Recovery Fund, and it will be in the form of grants from the Federal CARES Act. According to CBS LA, vendors who apply for grants up to $5,000 will be able to use the money to pay for protective gear, permit applications, and supplies to assist in legal operations and adhere to our current COVID-19 safety regulations. LA is home to around 50,000 street vendors, and approximately 10,000 of those vendors sell food items. That's all the news we have for you today. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Juliette Lamar and you take care.